92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Sean and Sue with you. And we're talking about painting the town pink. Sue, if you've gone anywhere throughout Ocean County, you see towns draped in pink, all part of Meridian Health's Paint the Town Pink. Joining us right now is Dr. Denise Johnson-Miller. She's a medical director of breast surgery at Jersey Shore University Medical Center. And Sheila Hill is a social media consultant, freelance writer, and a mom blogger, for Meridian, and I got to get this right, Momtourage. That's not, you guys, <laughs> that's not easy to say a lot of times fast. The Momtourage. The Love Momtourage. It. Ladies, how are you doing today? Fantastic. Great, thank you. Very good, very good. Let's start with you, Doctor. Talk about, you know, here we are in the month of May, and we're painting the town pink. We've got to constantly remind ourselves about the, uh, the battle against cancer of all sorts, I guess. The importance. Absolutely. I think it kind of a highlight of spring. <clears throat> spring is the beginning. It reminds us to start taking care of ourselves. We're going to shed our winter coats. We're going to get more active. And as a result, we need to get out to see our doctors and get our screening mammograms, mm-hmm. pap smears, colonoscopies, and just general physical wellness. How many towns are participating this year in Paint the Town Pink? Do we have an 41. idea? Wow, 41. Wow, that's 41. great. Every year it seems to grow. It has. It has exponentially. You know, nine years ago, it was only in Red Bank. Right. And now we've grown from very far north to as far south as... I guess all the way down. I mean, you're going all the way down to Long Beach Island, sure. Mount Hawking. Little Lake you Harbor, Tucker yeah. area, you bet. Yeah, and we're as far west and north as Manalapin or Manala Pink, as they call it. <laughs> That's my town. I love that. Yes. So here's some of the town names. I love them. You've got, um, um, instead of Surf City, it's Surf Pink. That's cool. <laughs> How about New Egypt? Talking about going west. Pink Egypt. Right. <laughs> That's a pretty cool one. I like that one. Um, what was it? Uh, Pink Beach for Pine Beach? Was that what they were using? I think so, yeah. What we're using here in Tom's are Pink River, right? Yes, yeah, Pink, Pink River. Pink River. Makes sense. It, 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 all we got to do is pour some pig food coloring. <laughs> Paint right out here in Huddy Park. Right into the Tom's Pink. River. So let's talk about what is the Pink Fund? What is this all about? The Pink Fund started uh, initially when we started Paint the Town Pink in Red Bank. It was done for awareness. And then many uh, owners, store owners, entrepreneurs said, what can we do to help? There are many people who are underinsured Mm -hmm. and don't have the money or the copay to get a mammogram. And that's how the Pink Fund started, to help underinsured and uninsured women afford a Mm -hmm. mammogram. How do they access this? Like if someone's at home listening and they're saying, okay, pink fun, but right. what does that mean? Where do I find it? How do I do it? What do I do? They can call several places. One or any of the women's centers uh, that do mammography, they know about it. There's a number, 855-PINK-411. Mm. They can also access through their primary care provider or uh, OB doctor. Excellent. Once again, that's 855-PINK-411. Sheila, so here you are, you're busy, you're a working mom. Uh, they ask you the question, paint the town pink. What does it mean to you or what does it say to you when you hear that, when you're out and about with friends or you see it as you're driving down the road? Well, as a busy mom of two girls, I can definitely relate to the majority of women who we put our children, our families, for some of us, we have aging parents. We put all of that first. That's where our focus is. And paint the town pink reminds us that We have to be healthy in order to care for other people, for those children, for our parents, for our families. So for me, it means taking that script for the mammogram that I've had for two months Mm -hmm. and actually calling, scheduling the screening, and and going, Mm -hmm. and really making it a priority. As difficult as it may sound, it, it really sort of boils down to one simple thing, just do it. It is amazing how when, you know, uh, things happen during the course of the day, you know, the kids have to stay after school or there's something going on that night. You've got the next day getting them up. You've got to get to work. But then you say to yourself, oh, I missed that appointment or I had to reschedule it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was three weeks ago. Now it's a month ago. Next thing you know, your doctor's saying to you at your next visit, You're when did, you were yeah. supposed to have done this and you didn't sure. do it, right? And, and, we would, and we wouldn't do that for our children. Yeah. We would never miss an appointment. Or if we did, we would call and re- we'd yeah. reschedule. You're but right. we don't do that for ourselves. Yeah, we'd be yelling at them, come on, you got to get to the doctor. Let's go. Get your shoes on. we got to get going. <laughs> yes, yes. But for ourselves, there's always a, a way to get out of it. Exactly. Always a way to get out of it. Um, the theme. Let's talk about the Pinky 
Promise. What's this all about? Yeah, this is cool. This is really exciting. And the idea came about, if you remember when you were in high school or grammar school, you said pinky swear. That Mm -hmm. means I'm going to do it and I'm not going to tell or I'm going to do it and I'm going to keep a promise. Well, this is keeping a promise to yourself, to the women in your life, to your family members that I will take care of myself. And anybody can participate. I don't care how old, how young, men, women, whatever your religion, (laughs) your beliefs about mammograms, this is one that's going to be a Guinness Book World Record Breaker. And we're actually going to have people there to officiate, and we're going to beat the record. The record is over 300 people. We have to get to, we want to go to 800 to 1,000 people. But this is this Sunday. It's this Sunday at Belmar Mm -hmm. on the 5th. Boardwalk, yep. Fifth Street Boardwalk, starting at 11 a.m. to register. Okay. And it's so important. It will be fun, DJ, prizes, T-shirts, What music. do people have to do to get involved in this? Come. Just be there. Show up. <laughs> All right. Do you want to wear pink? Do you want to... Uh, you can wear anything you want to wear. <laughs> you Your do, bathing there, suit. Yeah, does it, you no know, costume required. You can wear a costume. It'll be even costume. more fun. You can Pictures. do anything you want. Great yeah. choice to do it. Bring On your Memorial pinky, Day weekend. Bring your pinky. You Bring your pinky. To, That's what you got to do. So our children can do it. Our grandparents can do it. it it's Great for place. everybody. People will be walking up Fifth Avenue, Belmar. Great place for Memorial Day weekend as well, beginning at 11 a.m. Excellent. So they can go right there and just register that day and be involved. Absolutely. And be involved in the Guinness Book of World Records. Yes. That'll yes. be a great photo op. Sue, I would think. What do you think? The largest pinky swear. That'll be pretty cool. Paintthetownpink.com. So come by and see us down here in Tom's River. We are Pink River. And we want to thank Sheila Hill. (laughs) Sheila, thanks for coming in. Thank you. And helping to spread the word. And also Dr. Denise Johnson-Miller from our friends there at Jersey Shore University Hospital. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much.